Okay, let's start, right? So, good morning, all of you. This is a class of Professional Elective 3. And it is Real Water, water Supply and On-Site Sanitation System. So, we have entered the last module of this um, subject. So, we don't have much uh, left to discuss. So, anyway, so in today's class, we are going to discuss one of the most important topic, not even the, for this chapter, even for this current situation. And it is your uh, waste management. Okay. So even though we are discussing about on-site sanitation, they are all related. Fine. So we are going to discuss about how to manage a waste. Okay. So for this, for today's class, uh, we're going to discuss about different types of waste. Specifically, we are going to discuss about solid waste. Okay, so basically, it is all about solid waste management. Fine. So from the term waste, you will know, right? That is, what is the waste? Uh, whatever uh, material you have used for different purposes, the <clears throat> whatever the output and the the matter coming out of the system, it is basically the waste. And waste usually don't have any purpose. Okay. That's why it's known as waste. Okay. And the management of waste is so important because some waste are there uh, for which a degeneration of a particular waste is take too long. Like if you consider plastic. So for, for plastic, it it requires one kind of one million one million years, okay for deg uh, degradation or you can say regeneration that means up for 1 million years it will be there okay if you if you are uh, just um, throwing the plastic in earth it will be there for next 1 million years if it are exists so it's a very bad 
kind of thing. That's why management of particular waste is required. Okay. So whenever I say waste, it may be different type of waste. Waste. Okay. And for different type of waste, we have to treat them differently because the composition of the waste of different types of types of waste is depend on the source of the waste. That means from where the particular waste is generated. A particular waste can also come from a household. Okay. It can also come from a, a agriculture field. Can also come from an industry. Even in the industry also they have a categorization, a categorization that's like what are kind of it's a um, chemical industry or non-chemical industry. Okay. If it is a chemical industry then particular waste coming from the chemical industry it's it's more hazardous or more effective you can say right you can also go for a classifying industry like medical medical waste we have to take like biomedical waste are separate okay even from a particular medical uh, lots of waste will generate okay so even we can also go for uh, taking project for that if you are coming in the next semester then you are going to uh, go for project right so you can also consider a uh, waste management project if you can okay you can think from your side after getting all the knowledge because nowadays also it's very um very serious topic even if i say in a current affairs uh, nearby our downtown campus uh, in the panicati area the government uh, want to go for a lamping zone in a chandrapur area okay but the people living in that particular area are you know um, protesting against this particular approach of government so i'm not going to give any um, statement for that but this is a issue is going on right now so you can also go um, through this taking the all the information okay what is the effect of dumping zone in environment how can you manage this uh, waste how can you manage the waste in technical point of view okay so that we can also sustain the environment or also go for um, maintaining the sanitation that means what is the sanitation basically what is the purpose of sanitation to maintain the um you know what is that to register contact between register contact between human from that hazardous effect of waste right so from this point of view that means by going for solid waste management we can protect all the human beings even all the living beings also the environment okay so you can consider it is a very important topic okay so whenever i say um, suppose classification of waste so waste classification is done under based on the sources i already told you right it may be a municipal solid waste okay it may be a biomedical waste it may be industrial waste agricultural waste radioactive waste or e waste so if i give a very sm uh, so small kind of summary in terms of uh, waste so municipal solid waste basically it includes what household garbages rubbishes construction and demolition debris okay then sanitation residues packaging materials trade refuges all these things come under municipal solid waste okay here i have used two terms garbages and rubbishes okay rubbish basically so municipal solid waste may be classified under two basically one is your garbage and rubbish okay so garbage is basically the food related waste okay which can be by uh, decomposable okay which can be decomposed easily okay that means your um, the waste coming from the kitchen whether you can consider household or any other industry or whatever it is but basically it contain household garbages okay and basically the rubbish the rubbish is basically contain uh, non biodegradable metals okay i will show you uh, wait yeah so garbage is was basically the decomposable waste food waste the food waste can decompose very easily okay within a very short of time okay but rubbish is what rubbish is most dry material such as glass clothes i'll show you one thing okay i'll share the screen first wait Okay, can you see my screen? Is it visible to you? 
இயேசுனோ எஸ் சார் ஓகே ஓகே சோ a municipal solid waste may be kind of can be categorized under garbage can be categorized under rubbish rubbish whatever you say okay so basically the garbage is what garbage is the mostly uh, decomposable food waste decomposable food waste food waste waste means what the g the degeneration of the particular waste it taken very few time within a days basically within a week you can consider roughly okay but rubbish rubbish is mostly the dry material such as <clears throat> glass paper clothes woods all these things basically okay and the decomposition of the particular waste rubbish waste is taken long time okay if you consider plastic it will take million years okay so it's a very serious matter fine okay so that's why we need a management how to maintain or sustain the effect of the garbage anyway yeah what i'm discussing yeah so this is all about your municipal solid waste when i say mm, biomedical waste it basically the waste coming from a medical okay medical science activities related to medical science all these things okay then industrial waste basically it is uh, it mainly uh, consist of liquid and solid waste that are generated by manufacturing and processing units of various industries like chemical petroleum coal metal gas sanitary paper etc okay so basically the industrial waste when i say industrial waste is basically dealing with the type of industry like it may be chemical industry petroleum industry coal industry okay or, or metal and gas industry sanitary or paper industry also okay so the particular waste also be um, managed differently we can also go for uh, categorizing like agriculture waste that means the waste generated from farming farming activities okay but mostly agriculture uh, waste are biodegradable okay even uh, another categorization you can also uh, consider like fishery waste okay the waste generated due to the fishery activity uh, these are extremely food in coastal and uh, you know coastal areas basically in nearby the coastal area nearby the sea uh where the fishery activities are more high so in that particular area the waste generated due to fishery industry is also more okay radioactive waste radioactive waste is also very uh, dangerous you uh, know dangerous for environment the waste containing radioactive materials okay which is come from a radioactive uh, particular industry which actually dealing with the radioactive matter okay but Uh, we have to take care radioactive met, uh, waste separately okay it's very serious and it is it is man, managed separately basically usually these are by product of nuclear process that means in india there are different area where nuclear plants are there okay so from this nuclear 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 plant waste also generated and that particular waste also contain radioactive matters okay and that particular waste must managed okay must manage and should not uh, in encounter with the environment okay we will also consider like e waste basically basically e means in electronic waste it is a special classification of for electronic waste so electronic waste in short e waste are generated from any modern establishment like uh, they may be described as this um electrical or electronic devices okay or electronic scrap components okay you can consider a computer okay or damaged uh, media system all these things all tech uh, electronic gadgets after the use it will become a electronic e waste basically right so it's a roughly it's a classification of waste okay that is your um waste generated due to different region like municipal solid waste biomedical waste industrial waste agricultural waste radioactive waste or you can consider fishery waste also and electronic waste okay and we also go for manage, managing this particular waste and the waste management basically dealing with uh, that source of the waste 
when I say the main type of solid waste management, so there are different type of waste management will be there and it's depend on the source of manage, source of the waste. Like it may be a solid, uh, municipal solid waste. Okay. And different categorization are there, hazardous waste, industrial waste, agriculture waste, biomedical waste and waste minim minimization. Waste minimization means how to minimize the waste basically. So these are basically uh, under uh, solid waste management. Okay. So a uh, combined effect of population explosion and changing modern living standards have had a, a cumulative effect in the generation of large amount of various types of waste. Solid waste can be classified into different waste, different types depending on their sources basically. Okay. So uh, we have already discussed about that. What is municipal solid waste? The term municipal solid waste is generally used to describe most of the non-hazardous solid waste from the city, town or villages that requires uh, routine collection and transport to a processing and disposal site. Okay. So this is all about your municipal solid waste. Okay. Before going in detail, I'll go for uh, another statement for you. Okay. Now I already told you about the garbages and beverages, right? So garbage basically arising from a human or animal activities that is abundant or unwanted and useless is referred as solid waste basically fine generally it is generated generated from industrial residential and commercial activities in a given area and may be handled in a variety of ways okay that means we have a different approach for management, different approach of management for different type of waste. However, the waste can be categorized based on material such as paper, plastic, uh, glass, metal, organic waste like that. Okay. And solid waste disposal must be managed systematically to ensure environmental best practice. Solid waste disposal and management is a critical aspect of environmental hygiene and it needs to be incorporated into environmental planning. So solid waste disposal and management includes planning, administrative, financial, engineer, engineering and legal function. Okay. So whenever I say management of solid waste, it includes all this um, you know, section of solid waste management. That is, it includes planning, administrative, financial, engineering and legal function. Fine. It is the typical, typically the job of the generator subject to local, national and even international authorities. So it can be go to the grass, grassroots management or it can be go to the national level management or international level management. Okay. So it's a very serious matter even in the international uh, issue. Okay. Fine. So let's go back to that different type of solid waste. So we have discussed about municipal solid waste. However, uh, municipal solid waste uh, does not include waste from the industrial process basically or even construction or demolition debris, sewage sludge, mining waste or agriculture field, agri agriculture waste. Municipal solid waste is also used as a trash or garbage. In general, domestic waste or municipal solid waste are as synonyms. Okay, fine. So this, these things are already discussed. So municipal solid waste contain a wide variety of material. It can contain food waste like vegetable or meat material, okay, leftover food, okay, eggshell, etc. So they are biodegradable waste, fine. And basically they are known as trash or garbages, which is classified as wet garbage. So they are another term you can use, wet garbage, okay, because they contain moisture, because they are biodegradable. As well as, in other hand, they also contain paper, plastic, okay, tetra pack, plastic cans, newspaper, glass bottle, okay, cardboard boxes, aluminum foils, okay, all meta item items, okay, then wood pieces, etc., which is classified as dry garbage. So we can also um, understand this uh, this wet garbage and 
dry garbage okay so india's urban population uh, slated in increasing increases from the current 330 million to about 600 million by 2030 so it's kind of a survey okay kind of survey related to the population and due to the increase in the population the waste is also going to be increased in coming years fine and day by day the burden of the waste is increasing on the earth so we have to go for taking this uh, issue very seriously now the challenge of managing municipal solid waste is an environmentally and economically sustainable manner is bound to assume gigantic properties okay maybe gigantic proportions so whenever you go for solid waste management it should um, make a balance with the environment and the economy that means it should be economical whatever whatever tactics you are going to adopt for management of solid waste it must be economical also along with that it must be um, relay with environment that means it should not uh, harm the environment so there is a very big challenge okay that means you have to go for smart or uh, smart technique in other hand you have to go for sustainability sustain sustainability or you can say environment safety so they are kind of a opposite world okay smart if you go for tech smart technique that maybe efficiency will be less but you have to maintain the efficiency that we have to go for managing the waste for 100 percent efficiency fine so it's a very big challenge so you have to go for studying about that fine even though they are still going on the research that means uh, for proper way of managing the solid waste management fine so it's a it's a very open topic for research you can go for research you can adopt it uh, even 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 you can take a project in the beginning in your next semester it's up to you fine so it's kind of some data i have given here the country has in india over 5,000 cities and towns which generate about 40 million tons of uh, MSW, that is your municipal solid waste per, per year today. So going by estimating the Energy Research Institute, uh, this could touch 260 million tons per year by 2047. So it's kind of forecast. So if, if the waste generation is going in this way, in this rate it will reach 260 million tons per year up by uh, 2047 year okay so it's very um, important to manage sincerely or uh, you have to take this sincerely about municipal solid waste management fine anyway so if we go for the next uh, classification that is your hazardous waste hazardous waste means basically the harmful waste fine the Hazardous waste are most are those that can cause harm to human and the environment. Okay, they have they can harm human and the environment directly. Okay, or well, you can consider the toxic waste or chemical waste or radioactive waste. They are hazardous waste basically. Okay, the classification of hazardous waste are the waste are classified as hazardous if they exhibit any of the four primary characteristics based on physical or chemical properties of toxicity okay reactivity okay all this corrosivity all these things are related to hazardous waste if this kind of property are showing that means you can categorize this particular waste is hazardous if it's toxic if it is radioactive or it is if corrosively active then you can consider this particular waste is hazardous waste so basically what is toxic waste toxic waste are those that are poisonous in small or trace amount some may have acute or immediate effect on human or animals okay so this all about your toxic waste basically so um if you can if you can consider uh, uh, example of that like pesticides heavy metals are example of toxic waste okay basically they directly affect human body or animal fine they are poisonous another one another classification like radioactive waste under hazardous waste so radioactive waste are those that have a tendency to react vigorously with air and water 
are unstable to shock or heat and generate toxic gases and explode during routine management. Fine. So this is the classification of radioactive waste. Uh, under example, you can consider gunpowder, nitro, uh, glycerin, all these things are the waste matter coming from the radioactive industry. Okay, or nuclear plant you can consider. So they are under radioactive waste. Okay. There might be different example also be there. You can also go for searching in web. So ignitable waste means they can make fire basically. So are those that burn at relatively. So these are it. Ignitable uh, waste are that waste that burn at relatively low temperature. That means even in the temperature less than 60 degrees Celsius, they can burn. Are capable of spontaneous uh, composting composition during storage, transport, or disposal, like gasoline, paint, thinner, alcohol, all these things. They will consider as a, a ignitable waste basically. Corrosive waste means they are destroy material. Uh, they basically they destroy material and living tissues by chemical reaction like acid and the base. So if for uh, you know throwing acid or base even in the open field, they can destroy the bio, bio, biodegradable waste. Okay, or even they can harm the living tissue. Okay, because they go for chemical reaction and they can make a corrosive waste. So they are classified as corrosive waste basically. So infectious waste mainly another one. Basically, it includes um, human tissues from surgery, used bandage, uh, hypodrain, needles, hospital waste basically. So hospital waste are basically classified under infectious waste because they um, the particular medical waste uh, they may contain with some different diseases also because they are not dis disinfected. So they can classify under infectious waste. Okay, so this is the categorization of hazardous waste. So basically, all these things like toxic waste, uh, a reactive waste, or ignitable waste, or corrosive waste, or infectious waste, these are under your hazardous waste. They can harm the human body and the environment immediately. Fine. Go. And this particular waste can the source of hazardous hazardous waste we already discussed that it can be come from a medical, it can come from a, a nuclear power plant or refinery, oil refinery or petroleum refinery, okay, paper mill. All this these are the examples of the source of hazardous waste. Okay. All the chemical industry also you can consider. Fine. So third categorization of waste is your industrial waste. Fine. So this contain more toxic and requires special treatment basically. Industrial waste. So whenever you say industrial waste, basically the uh, source are food processing in industries, metallurgical industry, chemical industry, pharmaceutical units. Okay. That means pharmaceutical industry, paper industry, fertilizer industry or pesticide industry okay these are major industry they generate industrial waste and they are more toxic okay so these are classified under industrial waste they are also similar okay so industrial waste can also be hazardous waste okay so basically the effect of industrial waste is that that most common observation is that the health of the people living in the nearby in a, on, or in the case a neighborhood of the dumping site is severely affected okay so that's why the maybe the the local area local people living nearby the uh, nearby the dumping zone they may affect it okay because the particular waste may contain a uh, industrial waste okay so the exposure of this particular waste in an open atmosphere may cause uh, disorders of uh, nervous system okay disorder of nervous system genetic defect skin diseases even cancer so these are very harmful you know, waste so we have to manage uh, very carefully should not go for openly uh, dumping okay another classification is agricultural waste 
so under agriculture waste uh, the source of agriculture waste are the waste generated by agriculture agriculture include waste from crops and livestock okay in developing countries this waste does not pose a serious problem as much as most of it is used that means uh, dung is used for manure straw is used for as a fodder okay fodder basically so the particular the waste coming from the agriculture field can be reused basically so it's and also biodegradable so it's not a uh, hazardous basically fine uh, like rice hash it's kind of a agriculture waste okay oh uh, yeah next effect of agriculture waste so i have already told you that it is not hazardous waste so we can go for um it can be neutralized very easily because they have a reuse of we can go for reuse of agriculture waste right next at the last waste minimization so how can you go for minimizing the waste well, whatever whatever it is uh, what is the type of the waste okay irrespective of the waste type of the waste we can go for managing the waste and basically the waste production can be minimized by adopting three r principle reduce reuse and recycle it's a very famous statement fine so how can you um, minimize the waste by using simple three approach you can go for re reduce you can go for minimize you can go for re re reuse or recycle okay or you can go for it uh, sorry reuse or recycle okay recycle means you can make it different product with the same waste okay or you reduce means you can minimize it and reuse means you can directly use this product that means directly use the waste so reduce reuse and recycle so reduce means what reduce amount and toxicity of the garbage and trash that you discard okay so whatever waste is um, generated the so your main purpose to reduce its if harmful effect that means if it toxic contain matter you have to reduce its toxicity fine and make it bio biodegradable basically next one reuse reuse container and try to repair things that are broken that means you can also go for uh, reuse the waste you can mainly talking about your rubbishes okay the dry waste basically recycle recycle products wherever possible which includes buying recycled products etc or paper books etc fine so even plastic can be recycled plastic bottle or yeah you can also go for that or different approach or maybe uh, exist now you can also go for searching about that okay so whatever it is but main three principle of waste management is what reduce reuse and recycle so all the approaches, all the approaches. of waste management are basically dealing with reduce reuse and recycle fine okay so with this i just want to conclude this class fine so next class we're going to proceed uh furthermore about discussing about the solid waste management okay how can you go for reducing or reuse or recycle about the waste okay and different approach like landfill composting how to uh, go for um, generating biogas from agricultural waste okay so we're going to discuss about that fine so with this, i just want to close my sharing here okay so related to this class do you have any doubt if you have any question you can also ask now So basically, we are dealing with the last topic of this summit, uh, of this chapter, which is your solid waste management. Okay. So basically, we are dealing. We need to know about how to. What is basically the solid waste, and what is the if importance of solid waste management, and what is the way of solid waste management? There are the three principles I have already told you. That is reduce, reuse, and recycle. Got it?
Okay, just a second. In coming classes, we are going to discuss about landfill. Okay, we'll go for just the uh, introduction. We'll, I'll give you an introduction to landfill. What is landfill actually? And what is, uh, how can you go for composting? That means we can also go for composting a uh, waste. And that particular uh, output of the composting of the waste can be used as a fertilizer. Okay. It can be used in the agriculture field. You can also go for biogas generation by using uh, agriculture waste like cow dung can be used for generating um, biogas. Okay. So these things we are going to discuss in coming classes. So any doubt? No doubt. Okay then, so let's take your attendance now. Today is 29. Okay, great. Okay, if possible, switch on your video so that I can take your attendance. Okay. Okay, so I just closed my recording here.